What's going on guys, Kaivox here with Mikachu. We're doing a book haul. It's gonna be a really long one. So um, sit tight, don't let books bite. Um, the book, but book dust bite. It's, uh, it's gonna take a while. We have a couple of other things that we're talking about as well. So we're gonna start off with some, uh, some random stuff before we get to, as you can see behind us, there are a few, a few books over there, and uh, we're gonna talk about a little bit about all of them. Stay, stay tuned. T turn the volume up. Press that button. And we're doing a Adjust giveaway. Adjust the ears. <laughs> Antenna. Yeah. Oh. We're also gonna be announcing the uh, giveaway winner. Now. Winners. Now. Yeah. All right. Sure. These are the winners. We have uh, five winners for this book. We'll be uh, contacting you to get your address and. Uh, then you guys will be receiving it in the mail. This one, fun fact, is gonna be a pick that you're supposed to read this month. You do realize that there's only like a week left to this month, right? Did I not read that other book in the week? Yes. Thank this you. This is longer and way more I still had depth. time. I had time All today right. to finish that book. Relax, lady. Anywho, <laughs> so this was a really good book. We read it last year for the book club and five of you will be able to read it now. Also, stay tuned till the end because we're gonna do a Another giveaway. But you saw in the thumbnail, but yeah. It's an awesome giveaway. There's gonna be a special rule, so stay tuned till the end and we'll let you know what that is. What's the special rule? I'll tell you later. So to start off the book haul, I wanted to start with a book that Kaivox made. Um, any of you guys doing the book roast magical readathon in April, this is literally the book that she gives you for free that you can print out. But Kaivox, I didn't it. make it, so I, I made, I bound it. He bound it. Uh, that's it. Like that's an actual book. So I thought this was cool. So if you want to know what we're choosing, I don't know if you're doing the readathon, but I'm doing the readathon. So what I'm choosing and what path I'm taking, that will be in the April TBR video. Then I also picked up a novel companion, which is basically just a bullet journal. I was on the lookout for a really good bullet journal and I got one from Fairy Loot and it's okay. But when I saw this one online, I was like, oh my God, I need this one instead. And I'm really liking it so far and I've been using it faithfully. So you'll probably be seeing a lot of this every month when I do my wrap ups and stuff like that. All right, so this isn't actually a haul for this book, but Roar, um, I don't really like this book. I, in fact, I, I really didn't like this book, but I wanted Kaivox to learn how to do sprayed edges for my books, so he tested. You say that like as if you already know how to do it and you wanted me <laughs> to learn how to do it. No, That's I have what it no idea like. how to do it. And I wanted him to learn because he's crafty like that. So I came up with the idea this morning and I was like, hey, can you learn how to do this? And he had it done in like five minutes. It so. was it was like 30 minutes, okay? So then, then. The reason why I wanted him to learn is so we could do cool books like this, Peace and Turmoil by Elliot Brooks. And uh, he made this one purple also. Look how freaking awesome that looks. I mean, you want, yeah. It does look good, right? <laughs> if I do say so myself. It looks professionally done. I'm I'm impressed. I gotta say this white cover, man. It gets you so know what dirty. I was thinking about doing. Um, if you do one, you could take like a little bit of a lighter color and do like the corners and kind of give it a little bit of like a gradient between like the dark and the light. Some people do like um spacey looking stuff so like a galaxy oh looking. like they'd have to flick yeah flick the stuff on it looks cool anyway uh so this book i just got it in this month i'm about halfway through it and i'm really enjoying it so far i am honestly shocked by how well written it is it is i don't know if you've ever seen her channel elliot brooks but she is a booktuber um and i was kind of hesitant to be honest i was really afraid that i wouldn't like this book because i mean you know i don't how do i because okay this is why because it's like a YouTuber wrote a book. <laughs> That's what you think and it's automatically, an right? Adult fantasy, but it's really good so far. I'm really, really enjoying it. And uh, yeah, it's like if you know, like a firefighter came and was like, "Hey, I wrote a book. Read my book." And you were like, "A firefighter plus, wrote it? nothing against firefighters, but I'm just saying a firefighter isn't known for writing fantasy." Well, yeah, but booktubers would be more known for something like that, I would yeah, think. Yeah, but they're still... They're like, okay, but booktubers... Okay, what if I told you, hey, I wrote a book? You'd be like, 
make you wrote a book? <laughs> I know. Um, you know? You know, you don't watch her stuff though. I don't. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm just letting you know. But anywho, N plus the booktube community doesn't really have a good reputation when it comes to book writing, if that makes sense. There are some booktubers that have made some books that were really good and you know, we're really well known and stuff like that. But this, I feel like, brings it one step higher. I'm honestly impressed by how well it's written. And I'm really enjoying it so far. So it kind of gives me, like, Brandon Sanderson slash, um, like, Nevernight vibes a little bit. So, yeah. Circle of Shadows. So I got this. It's the arc. From a uh, giveaway on Goodreads. And then I got this one. Dude, I love this. These <laughs> Meow. I love these edges. What? Why is she crying at you? She's my kitty. Come here. I got her. I got this one with the pretty sprayed edges from a book box. I don't remember which book box. Maybe it was a Lumicrate. Anyway, um, this is actually a March book club read for us. And you finished it. Yesterday. Yesterday. And I'm only halfway through it, I think. And it, it's okay. <laughs> okay, next up we have, what is it called? Arcanum Unbounded by Brandon Sanderson. So this is all of the short stories within the Cosmere. I'm going to be doing a separate video very soon about my order. I'm reading the Cosmere books and why. Um, We're just waiting for um, a few books yeah. to come in the mail, like a good amount of them. We literally sat down to film the video and realized that I had half of the books and the other half I didn't. And it was going to be all showing off physical books the first half of the video and then just pictures and we didn't want it to look dumb. So we ordered the books. They're on their way. I've had this one for a while. I don't remember if I hauled it or not, but here it is. Is she drooling on you? Gross. And next up, we have some more Brandon Sanderson. Yeah. <laughs> Three books. So essentially, uh, I'm trying to get the UK versions of all of his Cosmere books. Because they look nice. They're all they're fancy. They're so nice. And, uh, this is the UK one. And look nice. Yeah. So this is the first three books in the Mistborn series. You okay? Yeah. You taking them out or you not? You I wasn't going to take them out. No, I don't want to have trouble putting them back in. Anyway, we You guys read... know what books look like, right? Yeah. These are the covers, uh, pretty much. And uh, they're nice. It's a nice set. How much is that set? Do you know? Okay. I think 30 that. bucks, maybe. So we've read um, one and two before. I read half of three. I didn't finish three yet. There is a fourth one, but it's like a prequel or a sequel. There's six. It's a, it's a far away sequel, like 100 years later. Yeah. The third There's one. The fourth books. one. What? Yes. No. The other ones are trilogy also. No. Our trilogy. They're not in our trilogy. They are. Next pile. I, I can't. I got a cat. Oh, come here. I can't. She's my cat. She's my you cat. You have to go get it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why did they have to put trademark? Because the, the, they trademarked the kingdom. The kingdom? The kingdom? That's a very strange trademark. Trade, ki the kingdom. Trade, trademark. Trademark the anyway, kingdom. How come it's not here? <laughs> I got an arc for this. Comes out in May. Um, Is it about a uh, robot? Android? Cyborg? I don't remember. Glimmering like a jewel behind its walls, the kingdom is an immersive fantasy theme park unlike any other. This sounds like, what's it? I don't know. Doctor what's Who. It? No, the theme park. A place where guests soak in crystal biosphere spring, springs, seek death-defying thrills, and soar on the backs of virtual dragons. Where castles loom like giants and bioengineered species, formerly extinct, now roam free. Dude, this is totally, a uh... Jurassic Park. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. What is that show we watch with the robot people? Free Willy. Come on, Mink. The, we don't watch robot people shows. Yes, we do. We I've never seen a show that has a robot in it. Westworld. Yes. <laughs> this comes out May 28th, 2019. Sounds cool. Sounds like a Asian fantasy Westworld, which I wish Westworld was set in the... In Asia. In Asia. So this one, when does this come out? I don't know when this comes out. It's called Vortex Visions. 
Air Awakens Vortex Chronicles Book 1 by Elise Kova. So it's about a desperate princess, a magical traveler, and a watch that binds them together with the fate of a dying world. Cool. It looks like a traditional fantasy mage magic thing. Like, uh, Maybe it it'll reminds be cool. me of like World of Warcraft. For but it's not out yet? It's coming out soon? I don't know. It may, it be, may out, be out, but now. it's a new book though, right? Cool. Uh, the author actually sent that to me herself. Ooh, so, thank you. Yeah, because I read a good review on it and I was like, ooh, I want to read this. I may have hauled this a long time ago. No, you I haven't. Got it a long never time seen ago. it. I've never seen it before. Smoke and Steel came out in January. Um, yeah, you have heard of this. No, I haven't. We did this in the last book haul. No, we that didn't. We trashed. There are nine wells of sorcery, the pathways of magic the ancients burned into the fabric of the world. Most people can't touch any of them. Those who can reach at least one are called mageborn. And those that can do two or more are the touched, yada, yada, yada. I don't know what this is about. Pirate girls. Magic. And magic. <laughs> you remember this cover. I do. That one we definitely did. Yeah. Spin the Dawn comes out July 2019. Jeez. You guys have time. On the fringes of the Great Spice Road, Maya Tamarin works as a seamstress in her father's shop. She dreams of becoming the greatest tailor in the land, but as a girl... The best she can hope for is to marry well. When a royal messenger summons her ailing father to court, Maya poses as his son and travels to the summer palace in his place. Mulan-esque. Mulan. We Rule the Night comes out April next month. Oh, here we go. Guess oh, I know what it is. I didn't read it, I promise. Um, they tell us our age in the first- How old like, is she? They're always the 17. same age. Yep. How did you know? Oh, a 17 year old Revna, Revna is a factory worker manufacturing war machines for the Union of the North. When she's caught using illegal magic, she fears being branded a traitor and imprisoned. All right. So like, I mean, I don't mind tropes. Don't get me wrong. If they're done well, it seems like, you know, the tropey like magic is forbidden and I use magic. Maybe it's uh, good. I feel like that's not that much of a trope. It's a huge trope. You're a trope. Yeah. Something does smell bad. Did you fart? Did you fart? No. <laughs> I didn't. So then I picked up this book because it seemed super awesome and you actually have to like break it to open it. Um, and it looks like a library book it has like the thingy. The number thing at the book? What does it say though? Oh, it just it's said. written by J.J. Abrams. Ooh, J.J. Abrams! He's cool. He's a cool guy. So it's Wow, got, yeah. so it has a bunch of fallout stuff in it yeah like pieces that what that's oh, why it's... Mink, you lost its place oh no oh no oh legit oh no it says brazil oh no it says brazil how did we pick the brazil one all right let's see which one has an opening as you're reading this book i hear it's i didn't ruin it like i didn't i promise i didn't ruin it a story within a story so you can read the actual story and i've heard people say different things about how you should read it but you read the margins, and I think there's two different people talking in the margins. You can read basically through the story, reading just one of the margins and the other one. How do you know whose margin like is who? It's like crazy. I don't know. I hear it's like very in depth. In Brazil. A, oh yeah, Brazil is, is it, like a big thing. Is it like thing. in Brazil? Ship of Theseus. I don't know. Weird. One book, two readers, and a world of mystery, menace, and desire. A, wo a young woman picks up a book left behind by a stranger, and inside it are his margin notes, which reveal a reader entranced by the story and by its mysterious author. She responds with notes of her own, leaving the book for the stranger, and so begins the unlikely conversation that plunges them both into the unknown. So you can read the original reader, the now reader, and the story all together. And the back of that has Bad Robot on it. Oh, yeah. Bad Robot. So I just thought that sounded really cool. I feel like um dying now because I lost the page. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic. Then I picked up The Disasters by M.K. England. I don't really know much about this book. <clears throat> oh, it's on the inside? It says, Hot Shot Pilot Nax Hall has a history of making poor life choices. So it's not exactly a surprise when he's kicked out of the Elite Ellis Station Academy in less than 24 hours. But his one-way trip back to Earth is cut short when a terrorist group attacks the Academy. Nax and three other washouts escape barely, and they're also the sole witnesses to the biggest crime in the history of space colonization. 
I hear this is very like fun and adventurous, but spacey at the same time. Then we don't have to talk about this, but I did get a hard copy of this review copy, not for sale. So the only thing that makes this a review copy is the fact that it says not yeah. for sale on the sticker on the back. I have an extra one of these that oh. we will be doing a giveaway for at some point. We should have stickers made that say, that just say this on it and then just stick it on all our books so they could all be no. re advanced reader copies. So I didn't ask for these books. They were just sent to me by Blink. Um, they're all seemingly, from what I can tell, they're all kind of like hard hitting contemporary books, which aren't necessarily my go to genre. So I probably wouldn't have picked these up myself, to be quite honest. But so, yeah, one is We Were Beautiful. She Can't Remember. She Can't Forget. Okay. I feel like all of these are like the exact same length. It's like, all yeah. right, write a book that is exactly 300 pages, please. So this one, the girl was in a car crash that killed her older sister, left her horribly scarred. Doctors say she was lucky to survive. She's in therapy. So these are all very kind of like contemporary, but they have like, um, not all of them, but it seems like most of them have, um, oh my God, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, words. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Have like um, mental health mixed in. Themes. Yeah. What did you just drop? The remote? Your cat is killing me here. She's like stabbing me. This one is a 14 year old worrying about school friends and her parents failed marriage. What's the deal with this one? Her mother has depression. A writer obsessed with people's life stories. Da 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 da. Groundhog Day meets Pretty in Pink mashup. <laughs> that one probably seems like the coolest one. No place like here. Mo modern twists on Hansel and Gretel. She has big plans for the summer. Spent a year at boarding school. Can't wait to get home. Father arrested for tax evasion. Cherry on top. Her father sends her to work with a cousin she doesn't know in a rustic team building retreat. Eh, that one might be all right. Within these lines. Love story of a girl and boy torn apart by racism during World War II. I kind of like um, historical fiction, so maybe that one. I, I say now, maybe I'll like three of them. Who knows? Then I have a Sexy Man book that was sent to me, Dark Fire. You I want the Sexy Man? I don't even want to hold it. <laughs> I think it's like a werewolf sexy Oh, yeah. Book. Oh, man. I remember this one. Go ahead, read it, Meek. Darius warned her when she accepted a position with his traveling troupe, mesmerized by the merciless slash of his mouth and their in <laughs> and the implacable resolve on his face, the soulless emptiness of his black eyes, Tempest was afraid to ask what it was. That's enough. Next. I was getting too hot and bothered there. I can't, I can't handle that type of writing. I'm sorry. The Deepest Blue. Mm -hmm. All right. By Sarah Beth Durst. When does this come out? March. So it could be out now. Life is Precious. Oh, this is, I remember this one. You remember too. We did this in the book haul that we lost. It was like the super, like, so many intricate words like all thrown together. It was like thesaurus, please. Life is precious and precarious on the islands of Blaine. Besieged by a capricious ocean full of <laughs> malicious spirits, the people <laughs> of the, <laughs> the islands seek joy where they can. And that is a mouthful if there ever was one. Mayara, one of the island's fearless oyster divers, has found happiness in love, but on the day of her wedding to the artist Kilo, a spirit-driven storm hits the island with deadly force. She has to save loved ones, there's soldiers involved, there, da, 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 da. So I, I don't know, like, I can't tell, like, that, that's, like, one portion of the book, but the book has to be so much more than that, and I just don't know what it's gonna be about. This one was randomly sent to me, like, I didn't ask for it. <laughs> That looks like our mailman. <laughs> the only that doesn't look like exactly like him. It's like his twin. <laughs> I think he's a criminal. He looks. You think our mailman's a criminal? No. Anyway, hunting Laroe. I don't know anything about. I'm gonna about... ask his name next time. Is your name Laroe? No. Story of Paul Laroe, the twisted genius, entrepreneur, and cold-blooded killer who brought revolutionary innovation to to transnational crime, the exclusive inside story of how the DEA's elite Secret of 960 group brought him down. I feel like this would be a TV show that I would like to watch, but I don't know so much about reading it. What do you think? Making of a murderer or making a murderer like book form? 
Not really. What do you get vibes from? Like, you just don't care? Oh. I see that guy every day delivering our mail. <laughs> just don't be mean. Oh, we didn't even show you what our mailman looks like. That's what our mailman looks like. He's gonna watch this and hate you. Well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> if our mailman watches this far into one of our videos, I would be very impressed. I would be very proud of us for making it interesting enough that he our that. random mail guy that doesn't even probably read books like we do would watch this this long. No. I bet you no, he doesn't because he sees all the books that come in and he's like, what do you do with all those books? Oh, we just, uh, we, we're building a house out of books, <laughs> obviously. We we're just buying one brick at a time. Oh, it's very hard to build with books because they're all uneven and they're not very sturdy. You, you tell me Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, Mick, you know what the password is for the Wi-Fi? No. It's kitty, kitty, cat. Kitty, 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 kitty cat, cat, cat. I love that commercial. Oh, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Kitty, kitty, cat. Kitty, kitty, cat, cat. Are you ready for the, you ready for the, for the lightning round? This book, now this book, now this book. <laughs> <We> just... <laughs> this is uh, Rise, a sequel to Rule. A stunning sequel to Rule. Rise completes a fantasy duology, perfect for fans of Three Dark Crowns and Pretty Little Liars. Well, I didn't really like Three Dark Crowns, but Pretty Little Liars, the show was pretty good. But I can't redo this one because it's a sequel, so you should pick up Rule. It's a sequel. <laughs> Can you keep it? Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep. This one comes out. Wait, is that from that show? June. Is that from that show? The Pretty Little Liars, yeah. I'm so good at things. June. Next. Crown's Game. That's an old book. I got it on Book Outlet. Wait, why does that one have a crown on it? And this one says crown. I see a theme. Kingdoms. I thought that said crown as well. <laughs> it almost, it looked right? It's yeah, almost yeah. crown. <laughs> um, Do you know this one's about? Oh, it is a crown. Yeah, but it's a city crown. <laughs> what do you think about that cover? You're not commenting on the covers too much. <gasps> I love been showing nakeds. I love that cover. I, that's a really cool cover. Yeah. I just like the layers. It reminds me of a Gundam. This is not great. It's like they took a picture and they flattened it. There's no dimension to this here, this image. It's just a flattened. It's like if I printed out a picture of a castle, cut it, and then rolled it into a crown. It's a, it's a good idea, but just execution was like, eh. Vika can summon the snow and turn ash into gold. Nikolai can see through walls and conjure bridges out of thin air. Why bridges? Um, they are enchanters and the only two in Russia. The Ottoman Empire and something else threatening. The Tsar needs a powerful enchanter by his side. So he initiates the crown game, an ancient duel of magic skill. If you put a bridge on the... Is it really a game if it's only two people? What? It's not a game, it's kind of just a competition. Is it a game? So uh, the definition of game to you is more than two people <laughs> no. having a competition? And I have a question for you. What? If you put a bridge on the ground, is it just a road? Or is it still a bridge? Well, it would be a bridge because it would go over the road. Ro dirt. Bridge. Bridge. Well, that's not a bridge, that's a road. What if a bridge goes like this? Then that's a bridge. But what if you take a, if you can create bridges and you just plop it on the... Don't be dumb. I'm just asking, does that therefore make it a bridge still or is at that point a road? And therefore, could he not do that? Because he can only create bridges. What the is this? The gown. The crown. The gown. She's wearing a crown. By Jennifer Robson. And that guy looks like a king. Or a prince. Though the war ended two years ago, England's recovery has been difficult, but the nation's spirits are lifted when Bunky Buckingham Palace announces the engagement of pre... Do you want to die now? Do you want to live? Can we live? Can we do this? Can we do this correctly? It's kind of like historical fiction, but not because there's modern day in it, and she finds mementos of her, what, grandmother? What is the point of cutting the cover? What's the point? You hate that. What is the point? Explain it to me. It's like having a door on a house, but let's cut off two inches off the door, off the side of it. What's the point? I just loved this cover. I thought it was cool. It's and missing. Very, like antique -y. 
An- antiquey. Disgusting. Stop being mean. People need to stop doing that to books. He just doesn't like You this. want me to go and cut all your books? I'll just cut off your things. All your books. You're going to judge the book based on that? I'm going to... Ju- my job here is to judge the covers. <laughs> I thought that was my, my point. The point of me being here. Big Little Lies. That one has a sticker on it. So this one is because this came from a uh, book outlet. It this is based on that show. Nine ninety nine. That's a lie. The show is based off of this. Nine ninety nine at Walmart. Yeah. Or v or CVS or something. I don't know anything about this, and I don't want to. I hear it's a very like thrilling, mysteryish story, and I hear it's really good from multiple people, and I want to check it out. Can we line our our faces up with these? Wait, wait, no, you got to do the one on the right. Do that one so we oh. could have space. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love doing that. It's so fun. <laughs> there you go. Bring Her Home. I picked this one up on Book Deposit. Nope. Book Outlet also by David Bell. I don't know what this is about. Just a year and a half after the tragic death of his wife um, and his 15-year-old daughter uh, and her best friend. Wait. <laughs> No, let me start over. Wait, I felt like this was like a telegram and you were going, you were doing (laughs) the the stop. (laughs) Just a year and a half after the tragic death of his wife, Bill Price's 15-year-old daughter, Summer, and her best friend, Haley, disappear. Days later, the girls are found in a city park. Haley is dead at the scene while Summer is left beaten beyond recognition and clinging to life. It was funny until I heard what you were reading. (laughs) I was like, I was was still thinking about what just happened. Stop. Black wing. I got this one on Book Outlet also. Under its cracked and wailing sky, the misery is a vast and blighted expanse, the arcane remnant of a devastating war with the immortals known as Deep Kings. The war ended nearly a century ago, and the enemy is kept at bay only by the existence of the engine, a terrible weapon that protects the misery's border. And here's just like an adult fantasy, but it's really cool. Is it like post-apocalyptic? Hmm. It looks, the cover looks supposed to pass. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter. Free Willy. Post-apocalyptic. <laughs> Book dust is killing I'm, me. I'm like the best judge of covers. All right. I call that by the cover. The back says fantasy, in case you didn't know. Hmm. It just says Fantasy. In case you didn't know, I don't know why they put that on there. Next up, we have... The Starlit Woods. New Fairy Tales. Oh, look. Sean and McGuire wrote... I got this from Book Outlet. Ah! It just looked cool. Why? Why do that? Can somebody explain Ah! why they do that? (laughs) It's whenever it has like like a dumb cover thing. It's like, here's the cover. Here's the inner cover, guys. There's extra color there. It's like, Ch-chaga. Naomi Novik in there. I like her. The, she's in the book? I don't understand. Shauna McGuire. So she wrote, they wrote yeah. it, co-wrote it? Garth Nix. There's a lot of like, so there are short stories, like, but they're like, oh. mod, they're new fairy tales. Oh. Once upon a time in the desert in a tower on a spaceship in the other country. I like that. So yeah. Clever. I like the cover. It's cool. It's very, it's like, fantasy sci-fi i don't know if you guys could tell but the woods the tree is like made out of ship parts and i didn't see that robots what i'm the cover guy (laughs) apparently oh yeah what is this a notebook (laughs) that is by sylvain nouvelle that sounds really familiar what what's going on come on on? what's going on you know what it is sylvain sci-fi um, what am I supposed Robot to do? Robot people. Am I supposed to like tell you something? Yeah, about, I like, can't. Is it a book? Themis Files. Oh, it's by that guy? Yeah. So this is his latest book. It's only like a hundred pages and uh haven't read it yet, but I hear it's really good. He's such a nerd. I love this guy. Dude, that If you haven't read the Themis Files, Themis Files, however you want to say it, it's really good. And you should. What's the first one called? I can't remember. The green one. It's called. Where are Tsst. they? Sleeping giants. Yeah. Walking. Sleeping waking giants. gods. I always say walking gods, um, and only human. Those are the tree. Do we know what that's about? Britain, the not too distant future. Edir is sitting. The British. Nope. Nope. Done. 
He is sitting the British citizenship test. He wants his family to belong. 25 questions to determine the worth of a life. 25 chances to impress. When the test takes an unexpected and tragic turn, he's handed the power of life and death. But how do you value someone's life when all you have is multiple choice? I, I don't know. His other series is really good. I ruined this book, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> All right. What is it called? What is the it Huntress called? by Kate Quinn. See, like, this I, I don't mind because it doesn't make the page smaller. And this is like the, you know, you oh, put some extra info on there, I guess. Um, okay. You shouldn't get this book wet. Yeah, because it's made out of... Um, Paper. No. It's a book, Mink. Of course, it's made this out of paper. This is made out of like a papery. Of course. The material of this cover is like the watercolor paper. Oh, that's, yeah. That's what it, it, it's like. So it seems like it just like absorbs water, which is the opposite of like what, forget it. I didn't ask for this. They just sent it to me, so I have no idea what it's about. In the aftermath of war, the hunter becomes the hunted. Bold, reckless Nina grows up on the, the icy edge of the Soviet, oh, why? Oh. Why? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why, Meek, why do I try to read oh. stuff? <laughs> Grows up on the icy edge of Soviet Russia, dreaming of flight and fearing nothing. When the tide of war sweeps over her homeland, she gambles everything to join the infamous Night Witches, an all-female night bomber regiment wreaking havoc on Hitler's Eastern Front. All right, so it's a World War II historical fit. Nope. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> historical fiction. <laughs> why are you so annoying today? Me? Yeah. I'm being funny. Oh. Next up is, what is it called? Wild Magic by Tamora Pierce. We by got, the way, that cover's okay. This cover, not okay. We got that in a book box. Oh, that makes sense. That's why the cover sucks. I gotta go kill your cat now. I rescued her. Be enchanted, all right. Dane has been alone in the wild for a long time. A little feral and running from a tragedy that do drove him from, nope. Meek, just, just like one word at a time, okay? That's how that goes. You, you, you got to read the first word and then the second I word. I think voice acting is out for me. Mm, I think a narration is also out for you. <laughs> Dane has been alone in the wild for a long time, a little feral and running from a tragedy that drove her from home. Her strange affinity with animals have, has kept her alive. This knack leads Dane into service with the Queen's writers when she meets Anua... Chom Tong at market. Finally, it seems as though she's leaving a life of uncertainty and danger behind. But what is this about? I don't understand. I thought it said that. <laughs> I thought it. I thought part of the thing was. But what is this about? I don't know how I feel about that. Amber and Dusk also came from a book box. Wow, there's really nothing on the back. I deserved the change to find where I belong. Chance, not change. <laughs> there a thing in Are it. Are you gonna make it through one? No. I wasn't running from the darkness at the edge of nowhere. I was running toward the light at the heart of the empire. Sylvie has always known she deserved more. Out of the permanent twilight of the dusk lands, the sisters of the Scion taught her that her legacy, her power to create illusions, was a curse. But Sylvie knows it's entitled, it entitles her to a place in Corridor. I, uh, eh. Ow, ow. Oh yeah, we didn't show anything naked. There was no none there. What? That looks really cool. It's nice. I like I like the uh, the shininess. Look at that. Shiny. The orange inside is cool too. I like orange. I don't know if you knew that. Mm. So these next three books all came in Once Upon a Time, the Christmas Advent box. And to be quite honest, I probably wouldn't have picked any of these up, and nor do I really care about any of these. So I'll probably be donating them. What are they called, Meek? A boy made of blocks, the center of the world, and a certain age. I don't know. Like, I just, I will probably this never read them. This lady kills her husbands. Um, this guy, lady, hugs a little boy. And then this man hugs a little boy. A lot of hugging. <laughs> Empress of All Seasons by Emiko Jean. So this is the Illumicrate, I want to say, book. And this is a boring cover. I like, I like the sprayed edges. Oh yeah, sprayed edges, you know. I mean, we could do that ourselves, so it's not that impressive anymore. Uh, let us know if you guys wanna see a- uh, Video. Video tutorial on how to on do how it. how to do this. Uh, maybe I'll do it if we get enough 
requests. Hey, I want to see that. I know that if you're if you're stuck in this far, you probably want to see it because it's like been like an hour already. So I am actually spoiler gonna choose this to read for the magical readathon. So I hope it's good. I hear it's kind of like I hear mixed stuff. Did you just spoil something? Yeah. Oh yeah, naked, naked, naked. Did you do that at the end, my dude? I'm doing it now, my dude. I like the red. Otherwise boring. One will survive. The rules are simple. One will survive. Survive the palace's enchanted seasonal rooms. Conquer winter, spring, summer, and fall, and you can marry the prince. What? That's all it takes? All are eligible to marry- That's how no. you got to marry me. All are eligible to- <laughs> I almost spot spit talk. Spot talk? Spot talked. Spot talked there. All are eligible to compete. <laughs> no, I'm nervous. <laughs> Except yokai, supernatural spirits and monsters that the human emperor is determined to destroy. Mari has spent a lifetime training to become empress and she doesn't want... She doesn't just plan to win. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Got him. I hope it's good. I love this color <laughs> red. Got him. Hey, can I just not... Once a prince... This Once a Prince, I remember this one. A book box, too, and I really like... I don't know why it's bent. <laughs> I really like the fact that it doesn't have a dust jacket and it's just, like, the book. It's signed it. Yeah. It's one of them signed books. Let me read the back. I don't remember what this is about. For 20 years, channelers, women with a magical ability, have been persecuted in Milan by those without magic. Now King Something wants to end the bloody divide and unite his kingdom. But decades of hatred can't be overcome by issuing decrees and rumors of a deadly channeler-made substance are only fueling people's fears. What's so funny? Are you done reading that? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, right there if you guys can read that it says the price in 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 the u.s and then it says higher in canada it just like eh, i don't know i thought that was hilarious i'm sorry i don't know i feel like a lot of these books have like the same synopsis like am i wrong i mean nick look when you start just this is you get a lot of books it's gonna happen yeah you know there did you ever hear that there's um there's only like a handful of stories that people can tell. Which is fine. Have you ever heard that saying can that you there's a this? Like the hoodie? Down okay. More. Wait. Hey. All right. Itched. Um, have you ever heard that there's only like a handful of stories? And then some people say that there's really only one story that you can tell. It's always the same general idea, you know. Be, from beginning to end. It's, it's like Star Wars. Star That's Wars. not true at no, all. No, I mean, some... It's like people that, like, creators that, that like, fil filmmakers and stuff, they always look at it as, like, hey, there's only, like, a handful of stories that you could really tell, but now you just have to put your own spin on it. And it is true. That's why we see the same thing all the time. And there's, you know, and it's always, like, the main character. I, and I mean, you definitely can't, like, get a full synopsis by reading, like the synopses star wars is like an excellent um like example. example of like the one story that you could tell and it's it's like the main character is going on a journey something happens the end blah, he blah, lived blah. like a sheltered life and it doesn't have to be that not that exact but it's more like of a general thing but if you guys research like storytelling you'll you'll find stuff like that i i haven't done any research but i you know i watch a lot of youtube videos and now I have two because that was the one that came really damaged and they sent me a new Yo, one. it didn't come really damaged. It came solely... I, it, I'm surprised the cover's even on it right now because it's like a disaster. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten a book this bad. Oh, you can't even tell how bad it is. There's a dent here. There's like... Like, look at that. Anyway. This wasn't even the really bad one. Wasn't there one that was worse? Yeah, but that came from Book Outlet. Oh, okay. And then this one. But this, this came in a book box. So, yeah. Look, you can see through it. But they sent me a new one. So, they were nice. I don't know how I feel about this book, though. Socialite, were dragon, thief, 
The only thing worth stealing is the truth. Dad always says that executing a heist is like a chess game. You plan for every contingency and you have backup plans. Stopping a heist, though, is entirely different. You have to improvise, and I hate improv. No, you don't hate. Nobody hates improv. They're just bad at it. Ah, uh, help with the bottom one. Cover coming soon. The Is Bone that what it's Charmer. called? No. Huh. The Bone Charmer by Brianna Shields. I legit don't remember getting this. I wanted to say Sasuke. On the day of Saskia's kenning, a special bone reading that determines the apprenticeships of all 17-year-olds, her worst fear comes true. She receives an assignment to train as a bone charmer, a seer like her mother. Her mother saw multiple paths for her, yet chose the one she knew uh, Saskia wouldn't want. Their argument leads to a fracture in one of the bones, which the devastating result of splitting Saskia's future. Now she will live her two potential paths simultaneously. This seems actually kind of cool. I'll have to check that out. My cat, Mink, what'd you do to her? I'm getting book dust itis. <clears throat> Deadfall by Stephen something. This is a cool cover. It came in a book box. I don't remember which one. We wait a couple more seconds. The fog-drenched silence, silence seeps in from the trees, coils in our headlamps, crawls up and over the big rock where the trunk of the car is resting. Whatever the sound was, it's gone. He says, Corey, the car is empty. We checked. There's nothing. Then he hears it. A muffled thump, thump. The sound is coming from the trunk. Thump, thump. The sound is coming from the trunk. I said that before, too. Uh, that one looks cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, you know, if you want, like, a... Maybe we'll read that, like, around Halloween. Haunted by their past and hunted by a killer. Oh. Doesn't sound as good anymore. The Storm Crow. This came in a book box. July 2019. Aragon meets And I Darken. Is this a young adult? Thrilling new fantasy, probably. Debut that follows a fallen princess as she ignites a rebellion to bring back the magical elemental crows that were taken from her people. So we don't like Aragon. So if you do, it's not, Sorry. not, not a big deal. But um, we're not big fans of it. So it's like whenever somebody's like, hey, Aragon and this we're like oh <laughs> looks like we're not gonna read that <laughs> i mean i would give it a shot no you won't don't don't even oh it smells really good let me smell it it smells really good then i picked up a final Ooh. copy a why Kingdom is this so copper. dense am i reading this one this is the second one. Oh, good and it's that thing is heavy is it made out of, is that cover made out of steel Wait, is that a hardcover over there that we no. missed? Oh, yeah. Rewind. Oh, look at these papers. Oh, I like that purple. It's like a maroon. Just black. With yellow. You can't beat that. Oh, gosh. With, I mean, like if you have like a lighter, like a white. White and red looks really good. So I read this one. I think I gave it a 4.5 4. out of 5. 4 this out cover is um, pretty cool. It. I don't really understand what it is, though. Yeah, me neither. And I read it. There's like a city in the back. And then there's like sand, and then there's like an alien beam coming down from space. That's what it is, right? No. Oh. But this series is really good if you haven't read it. First one is Kingdom of Copper. Five people want it today, but go pick it up if Five you want one of those. People. It's really good. Oh yeah, I was sent this randomly and it's number like twenty two in like a series or something. What? The black ascot. Me, watch your language. This is a family show. But I think it's like a thriller. Like, all right, Scotland Yard's Ian Rutledge seeks the cunning killer who has eluded Scotland Yard for 10 years in this exciting mystery in the New York Times bestselling series. So I think it's like one of those series where you could go in like whenever, um, but you, the story does like all come together, but you don't have to read it that way. Does that make sense? Yeah. But it's not my usual go-to genre, but if I ever want to dive into something that I'm not sure if I'll like, I guess I'll give it a shot. You act like you have a thousand hours during the one day. Yeah. Senlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. This book, I picked it up because it's getting like a lot of hype lately. Can't talk. The latest one just came out. Mild-mannered he headmaster Thomas Senlin prefers his adventures to be safely contained within the pages of a book. 
So when he loses his new bride shortly after embarking on a honeymoon of their dreams, he's ill-prepared for the trouble that follows. To find her, Sunlin must enter the Tower of Babel, a world of geniuses and tyrants, of luxury and menace, of unusual animals and mysterious machines. He must endure betrayal, assassination attempts, and the illusions of the tower. Okay. I hear it's really good. Okay. Covers, uh, interesting. They're it's not, all like that. It's yeah. not bad. It's like, like, apparently you have to, like, make your way up the tower. It's like a cool art style. I can't judge that in any way. Polaris Rising. Dang, this one came damaged. Wowie. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. So I didn't ask for this. They just sent it to me. Um, it's by Jesse Mahalik. A space princess on the run and a notorious outlaw soldier become unlikely allies in this imaginative, sexy space opera adventure. Who knows? Storm and Fury by Jennifer Armentrout. Covers whack. She's a really well-known author. This comes, one comes out in out June. In June. Eighteen-year-old Trinity Marrow may be going blind, but she can see and communicate with ghosts and spirits. Her unique gift is part of a secret so dangerous that she's been uh, been in hiding for years in an isolated compound fiercely guarded by wardens, gargoyle shapes of shifters who protect mankind from demons. If the demons discover the truth about Trinity, they'll devour her flesh and bone. To enhance their own power. And then Neo will come and save her. So no problem there. What? Who knows? Descendant of the Crane. I'm like super excited for this book, guys. It comes out this month. No, April. next month. April. April. Uh, seems like an Asian fantasy. I can't read it because fingers are in the way. You're not going to read up there? My fingers are not up here. They're on the side. So you can definitely read it. Princess Hesina of Yan has always been eager to shirk the responsibilities of the crown but when her beloved father is murdered she's thrust into power suddenly the queen of an unstable kingdom determined to find her father's killer hesina does something desperate she engages the aid of a soothsayer a treasonous act punishable by death because in yan magic was outlawed centuries ago i don't know it seems you know same thing where you know magic is outlawed blah 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 but like i hear this book is really good and it has really good reviews so far so I have high hopes, and this cover is, like, life. I love it. I don't know if that's the final cover. An Affair of Poisons by Addie Thorley. This one comes out... This... It came out in February. After unwittingly helping her mother poison King Louis the Fourteenth, 17-year-old alchemist Mirabel Mono... 17-year-old... Sorry. Uh, forced to see her mother's shadow society in a horrifying new light. They're not heroes of the people, as they've always claimed to be, but murderers, herself included. Mira tries to... Mira, doesn't that mean, like, to see? M Mira? That's how you say uh, Mira if you're from New York. Mira. Yeah, show how me that Mira. you say see in, like, Spanish and in, in Portuguese? V. Like, me... Like, look at something. Oh, that's Spanish. What is it? Mira. Yeah. Okay. All right. And she sees, right? Or am I wrong? I don't know. What are you talking about? Sees? Tries to ease her guilt by brewing helpful curatives, but her hunger tonics and headache remedies cannot right past wrongs or save the dissenters her mother vows to purge. Yo, I got Can't... bored just of that, but the cover's cool. I like it. I like the snake and the... The, um, dark mark. the dark mark there. It's pretty cool. I don't know what this is. I didn't ask for it. Deposing Nathan. The Truth Will Come Out by Zach something. I can't read it. When does it come out? By Zach Smedley. Smedley. In May. Nate never imagined that he would be attacked by his best friend Cam. Now Nate is being called to deliver a sworn statement that will get Cam convicted. The problem is the real story isn't that easy or convenient just like Nate and Cam's friendship. So, all right. Contemporary. Stronger Than a Bronze Dragon by Mar Mary Fan. Yo, you got a lot of, like, Asian-inspired books lately. I started, like, asking for them. I think there's, like... There's a, a wave of, of a them wave coming? A wave of, like, yeah, them coming out. Like, one really good one came out, so, like, a, you know, how it goes. So they're pushing them more. Got it. But I'm cool What was with the it, one good I one? Love... Shadow of the Fox? Yeah, probably. Lately. That was probably the first one. I could be wrong, but... I mean, yeah, okay. 
I love Asian fantasy though. I can't say that person's name. Leanne wants a life of glory and revenge. As a warrior who protects her village from shadow spirits, Anle has never been beyond the borders of her town. All of that changes the day the Viceroy and his fleet of mechanical dragons arrives. It's the protection her village is desperate for, but it will only be given in exchange for Anle's hand in marriage. Torn between wanting to protect her village and her own freedom, she's forced to make a sacrifice. Dude, this is like my kind of story. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Let me see the cover. Yeah, it's all right. It looks like a cover. I like it. Nothing like fan Thumbs out fantasy. in June. Hmm. <laughs> ah, what the hell is this? Unicorn Anthology. Is this one out? What the hell is that? Is that even a real book? It looks like a joke. Is it like a joke it's book? Nothing. I'm just asking. What is it? It's an arc. Of what? Is um, it like a bunch of short stories? Short stories about unicorns. Okay. All right. Then just tell me that. I can't remember when this is coming out. There's no date on it. <laughs> I mean, it. like, look at it. <laughs> it's just a unicorn flying through space. Um, But not all of... So... Also, this unicorn has a shadow. If you look closely at this cover, he has a shadow. So this is just a wall painted to look like the night sky that he is running through. So it's edited by Peter S. Beagle, which is the writer or author of The Last Unicorn. Um, let me read some of the authors. Garth Nix, he's famous. I don't know anyone else on there. Oh, do you know Ann Moore? Mm-mm. Ann Moore. Let me see. Description. Unicorns. Here are 12 lovely, powerful, intricate, and unexpected unicorn tales from fantasy icons, including Garth Nix, Peter S. Beagle, Patricia A. McKillop, and a bunch of people. In this volume, you will find two would-be hunters enlisting an innkeeper to find a priest who knows the secret of the last unicorn. The lover of an ex-boyfriend of a dying woman joins forces with a miraculous remedy in New York City, a small town writer, something or other. So there's some other st unicorn stories. It's great. I'm cool with it. I want to... I it wanna just read. seems really weird. Like, it's like, hey... That's right, unicorn stories. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just like, I wasn't expecting that, okay? You threw me off, all right? You, th you, you, you threw a, a wrench in, in the equation there. This is a cool cover. It's an old book, um, and they sent it to me randomly. But I guess, like, it's an anniversary. What, what one? I don't know what anniversary. What are you talking about? Does it say it on the front? I thought maybe it did. Um, I've never read this book. Oh, it's 20 years. So it's a 20 year anniversary. Speak up Dang. for yourself. We want to know what you have to say. From the first moment her freshman year at Meriwether High, Melinda knows there's a big fat lie. Part of the nonsense in high school. What? She's a friendless outcast because she busted an end of summer party by calling the cops so no one will talk to her, let alone listen to her. She becomes increasingly isolated and practically stops talking altogether. I mean, I I know nothing about this book. The cover looks way cooler than the snaps. It looks almost like a clown from here. No, it's a face. I know, but it looks like a clown face. Like this because of the like smile? Because it looks like it's smiling? Because of the black? Yeah. You're creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what this is? <laughs> Excuse me. They came in a book box, I think. I, it did. Stain. Stain? Yeah. I like that cover. I know you hate it. But I think it's cool. Ow. Deep within the ashen ravine, in a clearing isolated from prying eyes, hidden inside a house within walls, the girl with no identity drifted in and out of consciousness. <gasps> Time passed immeasurably. The gray hazy light that... This is very fluffy. What the heck happened? Dude, it's very descriptive. That doesn't tell me what it's about at all. Ooh, I like the contrast of that that mustardy yellow color and the purple. It's supposed to be gold, but it's like a mustard color. After Lyra, a princess incapable of speech or sound, is cast out of her kingdom of daylight by her wicked aunt, a witch saves her life, steals her memories... And raises her in an enchanted forest, disguised as a boy only known as Stain. I think it sounds cool. You can hate on it all you want. Ooh, this one looks like another one that we have already. Yeah. 
This is book two this of is book a trilogy. Two of Fury Born. So the first one was Fury Born. This is the next one. I can't tell you anything about this one. But the Fury Born was about two queens separated two by a queens. thousand years and connected by secrets and lies. Secrets and lies. They must continue to fight. Keep mid fighting, girl. Deadly plots and unthinkable betrayals. That's right. Why are you being stupid? <laughs> this, these books are so long. 500 something pages. Sheesh. This one comes out in May. Boom, I could talk about this one. Cover, not so good. It's called On, Shoulders of on the Shoulders of Giants. Titans. Titans. I say giants every time because of that other book over there with the giants. Um, By Andrew Rowe. Yes. So I love the first one. I really like this one. We did a book club about it. Um, so go check that out if you've read this or if you feel like reading it. It's a it's a doozy. It's a little bit of a... It's hefty. It's a, you know... Hefty, hefty, hefty. It's like the garbage bags. 700 pages? 740 pages. Maybe 39. 39. 40 if you count the, the, the back one that has no writing on it. Um, there's also... There, isn't there a thing at the end? Um, is there a thing? What? A glossary? A glossary or something? Glossary or no, something? I don't think so. A glossary at the beginning? There's like a... It, it does a recap. The, we got this because it was it, we wanted to read it. <laughs> so we read it, and it's good, and we like it. Uh, we both gave it pretty good review. Um, so definitely a recommended book. But you got to read the first one first, so go read the first one. It's pretty good. Yeah. Spinning Silk. Hmm. By what? By what? T. T. Cook. Cook. A weaver's genius ignites the jealousy of her peers, the possessiveness of her mill's pro proprietress, Triss, in the hopes of an unborn nation. Fury does not know her parents, nor where she came from, but she knows that she was made for work. She labors for the sake of art alone, so she believes, or so she believes, but these are much more than they appeared. Is Shin, the gardener, with an unlikely power over life and death, Kitsuke artist, Madame Sato, who would fashion Fury into, reincarn into a reincarnation of her own dead daughter. A mysterious illness with a selective death root, the princess of a puppet emperor who has strain. What? I don't understand. All I, I so I bought it because it was inspired by Japanese folklore. So this is this is not like this is a final copy. Yeah, it's a uh, self-published. Have you seen the back of this? Yeah. Why is her face cut off? I don't know. It's obviously that's the author, right? I'm yeah. assuming, but like. I thought this was an arc. No. I thought I felt I feel bad now for pointing this out, but I got to point that out. Um, I mean, it's hard being self-published. I guess, but like you know, that's like the first thing I noticed. I was like, oh, this must be an arc. Also, because there's a weird shadow on this. That's like it's like a double thing. I, it's got really good reviews, though. I hope you like it. Me too. It has some big old letters. I like big letters, and I cannot lie. Ooh, this cover, though. They don't have it in an audiobook. I wanted to read this really bad. Do they have the cover, though, in an audiobook? <laughs> Just the cover? So a lot of people have been picking this up lately because the second one's about to come out. A Winter's Promise by Christelle Dabos. I think it's originally written in French. Um, Here, hold this. You know what I think about French, right? You love it. I do. <laughs> I think it's super cool. A mix of awkward misfit and understood genius. Misfits, maybe? And understood genius. No. Do you want to start over? Yeah. Is that like, okay, let's start over, guys. Rewind. <laughs> Ready? A mix of awkward misfit and misunderstood genius. Ophelia cares little about appearances or other people's opinions of her. Opinions. She possesses two special gifts, an unrivaled talent for reading the past of objects and the ability to travel through mirrors. Her peaceful, if what, if somewhat dull existence on the arc anima, anima is interrupted when she promises and when she is promised in marriage to Thorn, a taciturn and influential member of a powerful clan from a distant arc. Um, that sounds cool. Sounds interesting. Sounds a little different. Um, her ability... To travel through mirrors, they they like gloss over that. They're like, and she has an ability to travel through mirrors. Just a just a little thing, just a tiny little it's thing. It's called the Mirror Visitor, Book One. Oh well, that's she has two abilities. She can read the past of a object. Yeah. So she can be like, ah, oh, this used to be a tree. Pretty cool. 
And then she could go like this, look. She can go like this. Ah, oh, this used to be a tree. Pretty cool. I hear mixed stuff about this book, but um, people that like it seem to really like it. And I looked for an audiobook so I can make it an option for the book club, but they don't have one yet. So maybe in the future, if it becomes well known enough in these parts. This is how I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I used to grab my cards. I summon Dark Magician! Oh yeah, they sent me another copy of that randomly. Didn't we already We talked show about this, this one? already. In the, like, this was the one that had the same amount of pages as all the other ones? Yeah. All right, cool. This one again, guys. They sent me an extra. Oh, Ooh. Sean and McGuire's new book. I have an extra copy of this, by the way. This one comes out in May 2019. The next um, giveaway will probably do this book. High five, guys. See it? Yeah. High five, Meek. <laughs> not exactly human, not entirely gods, not yet. In this new standalone novel and her most epic outing yet, Shauna McGuire delivers an intricate narrative about gifted children that glows with her unmistakable voice. Meet Roger. Skilled with words, languages come easily to him. He instinctively understands how the world works through the power of story. Meet Dodger, his twin. Numbers are her world, her obsession, her everything. All she understands, she does so through the power of math. They aren't exactly human, though, and they don't realize it. They aren't exactly gods, either, not entirely, and not yet. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait. Meet Reed, skilled in the alchemical arts like his progenitor before him. Reed created Dodger and her brother. He's not their father, not quite, but he has a plan to raise the twins to the highest power, to ascend with them and claim their authority as his own. This sounds cool. No, 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 no. hold on. Remember these? Remember the flames? <laughs> um, so you guys probably can't tell. And uh, what's her name? Shannon. Mm -hmm. uh, Shannon. I noticed. McGuire, excuse me. I noticed. Okay. She doesn't make these. Covers. I noticed this. The um, the each little flame wick, it's just a little line, like and then the, and then line. the flame is put on there. This isn't a real a real candle. This is just a white hand from like a like a mannequin. And then you drew little white lines, and then you put a flame on there. Why is there so much smoke coming off of this one? It's lit. It That's sounds it. cool, though, right? It sounds very interesting, and it seems like a, a new idea. So I do like it. I think I think based on and the way that the the synopsis was written is interesting. It, it like it gives me enough of a of a story and enough of like a curiosity to to want to know what's going to happen as opposed to like in this story John walks to school and then gets attacked by murderers and they try to kill him the rest of the book is about that the end that's the synopsis of my book don't be trying to grab my pile son this be my this is my pile children, children of, of time, time by adrian tchaikovsky tchaikovsky Basically. So I've been trying to make this a book club book forever, but wait, no one will pick wait, it. Wait, wait. Where is it? I don't know. Help me find it. Uh, Crossover spaceship. Look at that. What? The spaceship. Oh. It's How very, do you notice things like it's that? It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. What's this one about? Time children? It's upside down. No, it's it's just reverse in time. <laughs> like legit. No, it's just like it's not upside down. All you gotta do is you just do this. You flip the video. Now it's right side up. We are upside down. The world is upside down. And then you just you just go like this. Flip it back. The last remnants of the human race. Oh, you were reading something. I'm my mind. Left my bad. a dying earth desperate to find a new home. Following their ancestors' star maps, they discovered the greatest treasure of the past age, a world terraformed and prepared for human life. But all is not right in this new Eden. The planet is not waiting for them, pristine and unoccupied. New masters have turned it from a refuge into mankind's worst nightmare. I like time travel. It just seems so cool. And no one wants to read it. T wants to read it. Echo North. This is a retelling of a 
story that I've never heard before and I looked it up. It's like West and East something or other. This one we're going to be, if you're part of our Patreon Discord group, um, we're going to be buddy reading this in April. Echo something's safe and carefully structured world falls apart when her father leaves for the city and mysteriously disappears. Believing he's lost forever, Echo is shocked to find him half frozen in the winter forest six months later, guarded by a strange talking wolf, the same creature who attacked her as a child. The wolf presents Echo with an ultimatum. If she leaves with him, or lives with him, excuse me, for one year, he will ensure her father makes it home safely, but there is more to the wolf than Echo realizes. So, like, this seems to me like Beauty and the Beast. Oh, yeah. But, like, yeah. I don't, I think it's not, I don't know, because people are calling it a Beauty and the Beast retelling, which I get, but I looked it up and it was a retelling of that other thing, unless Beauty of the Beast is a retelling of that other thing, and then, ugh, mind blown. I think you said Beauty of the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Boring naked. Yeah, just blue and silver. I, I think it sounds cool. Then I got this UK edition of His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. This is the trilogy all in one book. I've always wanted to read this and I just never have. Like I've sat down to read it a couple times and I just never got into it. But I hear it's really Ooh, good. There's a thingy too. What? A little splitter, page splitter oh, uh, thing. What do you call Bookmark. it? Bookmark. Bookmark. So this is cool. It's on the inside. Oh, look at that. Feel that. It's like extra. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. It's different. You don't see that a lot, you know? Yep. Dark Magician. Dark Materials. That's what I meant. I don't really want to know anything about this. It's kind of like a classic story at this point and like, a lot of people have read it, and I haven't read it, so I just kind of want to... It's about a magician that's dark. I've seen the movie when I was a kid. There's a movie! The, um, what's it called? I don't know. I Shoot. never saw it. Yes, you did. You had it. What? What's that movie called? Golden Compass. That's a Golden Compass book? Yes. I started reading it. I think the first book is like... Called The Golden, the Golden Compass? Compass? It's not. Northern Lights... Well, but it's based on the golden compass. The golden compass, I think it's the same thing. I could be What wrong. are you talking about? Figure it out. Oh my God, these pages are so thin and it's Look like, this, this guess how many pages this is? 1,281. guess? Did I guess the right number? No. It's uh, 1,088. That's so long. How did I guess 1,000? <laughs> Easy. I saw the page number. I'm pretty sure that this is the, uh, what do you call it? Can we talk about this one? Can we talk about this one? Can we talk about this one now? The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chosky. Chokshi. Get it, Meek. Excuse me. Get that. Get it. I've heard really good stuff about this. That's why I picked it up. Don't remember what it's about. I need to read the inside. Did you just, like, pretend to hit me in the face? No. Book Dust. It's 1889. The city is on the cusp of industry and power and the exposition universal has breathed new life into the streets and dredged up ancient, ancient secrets. Here, no one keeps tabs on the dark truths better than treasure hunter and wealthy hotelier Severin Montague something. When the elite ever powerful order of Babel courses him uh, to help with them on a mission. I can't read because you have it like this. The, uh, the, I heard the, the binding, the thing cracking. That's why I didn't want to open well, it. Well, I much. can't read it. All right. All right. When the elite, ever powerful Order of Babel courses him to help them on a mission, Severin is offered a treasure that he never imagined his true inheritance. Um, all you gotta do is like get closer to me. Like, do this. Problem solved. Then you could read over my shoulder. You're trying to read. But I was trying to make it so they can hear too. You're trying to read through my shoulder. Yeah, because people have to hear me. Oh, chicken. That looks good. Yummy. God. Why? Why? What is? Look how ugly that looks. Is this? Is this an arc? No. Why? If it's an arc, I understand. But why do this to a book? Like, look how ugly that looks. Do people like this? Do people actually like this? This is stupid. The book may be the best book in the world. I don't care. 
Look how dumb that looks. Give me a... Bring up the door thing again, because this is basically the door to the book. You're opening up you're, you're opening up a, a new home here. This is your home for a couple of hours while you read it. This is a, that's a 10 hour, that's a 20 hour, what the hell kind of, what is this, a textbook? Yeah, so this book is, I got it because it's also very uniquely written where it's like, whoop, It's ripped, ripped in half apparently. So it has like red letters and crossed out stuff and like blue stuff. And oh, it has blue stuff and red stuff. Good job, This is a me. very famous story. But like, come on. If, oh, is it because like, they're like, we're going to give you two covers. The fake cover on the inside or the real cover, whatever you want to call it. And then the covered cover, the cover up cover. Come on. This is stupid. All right. You like that? I don't care. I care. Years ago, when House of Leaves was first being passed around, it was nothing more than a badly bundled heap of paper, parts of which would occasionally surface on the internet. No one would have anticipated the small but devoted following this terrifying story would soon command. All right. What is this? I read... No, I can't remember what it's about, but it seemed really cool. It's like really a crime cool. thing. It sounds cool. And it has like a comic book at the end. It has like a ton of just random stuff. Definitely couldn't read that though, because I couldn't get the audiobook. It would be weird to try to read that in the audiobook. <laughs> you know I'm saying? All right, so the story remains unchanged, focusing on a young family that moves into a small home on Ash Tree Lane where they discover something terribly wrong. Their house is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. The TARDIS. Of course, neither Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Will Navidson or his companion Karen Green was prepared to face the consequences of that impossibility until the day their two children wandered off and their voices eerily began to return another story. What does that mean? Of creature darkness. Is it like timey-wimey stuff? I didn't read that weird. This is literally what it says. Of an ever-growing abyss behind a closed door and of that unholy growl, which soon enough would tear through their walls and consume all of their dreams. It seems like ugh, like an episode of like Twilight, Twilight Zone. Zone. But, like, it's written really cool and, like, just strange. That's how you get extra pages. Yeah, I guess. You just write one word. I think word. that's, like, stuff written in a mirror, like, backwards. You're a mirror. You gotta look at a mirror to read it? No, it's not. <laughs> but it's just so weird. And then it's all, it's, it's, it's a haiku. It's written in haiku, the whole book. It's intimidating. But I'm up for the challenge. I wonder if there is an audiobook. I wouldn't want to read that in an audiobook. You lose the whole thing. The experience. Then I got We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. Yeah! That's what he's doing. I literally I, bought I, this I, that's what he's doing. only because it's the author that did um, My Best Friend's Exorcism. That's all I have to know. The smell. What does it smell? doesn't smell like anything. What the hell was that? <laughs> Every morning, Chris Pulaski wakes up in hell. In the 1990s, she was lead guitarist of Something, a heavy metal band on the brink of breakout success until their lead singer, Terry Hunt, embarked on a solo career and rocked to start, rocketed to stardom, leaving his bandmates to rock. No, 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 no. Rocked to stardom. That's better. Um, da, right? Da, 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 da. Right, yeah. guys? She's trying to renew. Ooh, reunite. it has black, black edges. Oh, my God. We could do that. I don't I know if you guys like, knew, but we did that recently with a book, and it came out pretty good. If you guys want to see a video about that, let us know. Let us know. Maybe we'll do it. Um, I don't know. I mean, the story and the plot behind My Best Friend's Exorcism wasn't, like, overly, like, I want to say it wasn't in overly intriguing, and the idea wasn't overly, like, unique and original, but oh my god, the way this author writes just, like, ripped my heart out and stomped on it and I just loved every second of it and I hope this does that too. It just gives you all the feels. I cried so hard at the end. <laughs> Me too. You should read that book. I should. Then along with 10 billion other people, I got The Wicked King. Haven't read it yet. This is a sequel to The Cruel Prince. And I thought The Cruel Prince was all right. I thought it was a little overhyped, but I'm willing to continue. I hear this one's good, and no one needs to hear about that. The Girl King by Mimi Yu. <laughs> the King Kings. King King. Kai Kai. Kai Kai. So we didn't Kai -kai. show the naked. Kai Kai. What? 
That's like that's like. Uh, this is literally written like in mirror style. Oh yeah. But like. We can read it this way because that's inverted. <laughs> it would take way too long, dude. This book is just so cool. Oh. I can't read it. Up the. It's because of the red things. Up the tunnels, and. No, can't read it. Ha, ah, how about like that? Out the something maze toward the daylight and through the something. It's 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 directions. It's directions on how to get somewhere. Up the tunnels, out the maze, towards the daylight, through the... I don't know. That's so cool, though. I just... Oh, I need to read this. His other book, man. Kai Kai. Kai Kai. Hey, look, you didn't do this when you made yours. Ooh. I didn't buy any special edition of this. Ooh. It's like a crown with seaweed. Did I show this one? I think I did. All right, caught up on nakedness. Wait, me, me, you. Oh, we're in that one. The Girl King. In an empire of flames, they must rise from the ashes. Sister Lu and Min have always known their places as the princesses of the empire of the first flame. Assertive Lu will be named her father's heir and become the dynasty's first female ruler, while Tim and Min will lead a quiet life in Lu's shadow until their father names a new heir, the male cousin Set. Determined to reclaim their birthright, they go on the search for allies. Dude, I'm just, I'm, I'm all for sounds it. Sounds so boring. I love it. It sounds like cover. I showed it, didn't I? Maybe not. Ooh. Boring. Oh, yeah. I hauled the arc of this not too long ago, but they sent me a final copy of The Disasters. I haven't read it yet. Oh, there's a face in that. Really? You didn't know? Wait, no. It doesn't work. Um, ooh. Yo, it's cold. Put your, pull your jacket up. What is she doing? Look at her. Why is it cold? Just because it's windy? Look at how windy it is! You know, she's like, the, the, she's getting killed by that hurricane. Put your shirt back on, lady. The adoptive daughter of a gifted scientist, Foster Stewart, doesn't live a normal life. Adoptive? Not that she wants to. Adopted. But controlling cloud formations and seeing airwaves aren't things most 18-year-olds can do. Small, all right. I don't know. We'll see. So she can control, so she's Storm, yeah. the X-Man. I got this one in randomly the other day. Um, it comes out this month, so maybe out. Ooh, got scribbles. Scribbles on the pages. Wait, where are the scribbles? And the chapter starts. Chapter scribbles. It's called I'm Dying from the Did Book you hear Dust. That? Your throat went. <laughs> the Last Voyage of Poe Blythe by Ooh. Ali Condi. Poe Dameron. Who do you become when you have nothing left to lose? So, Poe Blythe, a 17 year old captain, why you have to be 17 is beyond me, of the outpost's last mining ship wants far more than the gold they tear from the Serpentine River. Poe has vowed to annihilate the river raiders who robbed her of everything two years ago. But as she navigates the treacherous waters of the Serpentine and realizes there may be a traitor among the crew, she must also reckon with who she's become and who she wants to be. Nailed it. That sounds boring, though. I'm sorry. Could be good. Could be, could be, could be. So then I have this monster of a book. Prior of the other tree. <laughs> Dang it. It's called Prism Mini. In the Priory of the Orange tree. tree. I picked up a final copy of this. It came out in February. Um, I read it a couple month, months ago. I liked it. I give it a 3.5. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it better than The Bone Season. Look at the thickness. Why is it the same author? Yeah. Why would you, like, get this? You've asked me this five times. If you didn't times. like The Bone Season. The Bone Season was not a good book. I love that. It was a terrible ah. book. What is it In my about? opinion, Let's for see. me, it just wasn't for me. It was like a dumb vampire mo book movie. But not vampires, but they were vampires. They were freaking vampires. So, um... 
You were thinking about spraying these. I want to spray it. I, I just think like the orange ones that they came out with was it, the shade of orange wasn't right and they just looked weird and I didn't want to spend $45 on a book that I thought looked weird. So I think this would be really pretty if you did a blue edge. Yeah, with like some, some silver in there to make it like sparkly. You should do it. That'd be cool. Do it. But what we are not going to spray the edges on is the giveaway book. I am giving away an ARC copy of Priory of the Orange Tree. That's a big deal. It kind of is. These were hard to come by. That's kind of, it's kind of a big deal. Um, I had to beg and beg a lot to get one. Beg, borrow, and steal? <laughs> no. Um, but anyway, how do you win it? <clears throat> oh, how do you win it? There's a link down below. You're going to have to go to that. But also, you have to leave a comment down below. And you need to tell us. You need to tell us. What do you need to tell us? What is this simple one? This is going to be an easy one. What is your favorite fantasy? Because these are this is a fantasy book. What is your favorite fantasy series that you've read somewhat recently? You know, if you read Game of Thrones, okay, you could say Game of Thrones, but like you know, something more recent, something maybe that we you suggest to us. It doesn't to have to read. be recent because just because you read it recently, it has to be recent. It has to be recent because that's what I asked for. Oh. Simple. The end. So, so comment down below telling us your favorite recent fantasy and then go to the link and do the stuff in the link. Yeah, it's easy. And you can enter multiple times. So And win this copy. I personally read this copy and bled in tears all over. Not literally. That sounds disgusting. There's no <laughs> blood or tears in it. Just don't worry about that, okay? Otherwise, they're going to make clones of you, Meek. You know what people do with blood. <laughs> it's dangerous. Those are such big books. Another king book, guys. We got King another of Scars. King book. This I feel is... like the only types of books that we have are Kings and Kings. kings no, Kings and um, Asian, like Japanese inspired books. I'm cool with it. That's like that's like fifty percent of the books that we have. So King of Scars is a new Lee Bardugo book. Obviously, everyone's like either read this already or knows about it, but it is following Nikolai, and I don't know if it comes before or after her other series, and I don't want to know. I'm just gonna covers pretty go in. Covers pretty dank. Ooh. This is the special edition. That's nice. It's very shiny. You can't tell. No, you can. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Um, I instantly thought of, like, the Albanian flag, because I know that they have, like, a double-headed eagle oh, do they? thing on it. It's nice. This came in the Illumicrate box. Is it this signed? Would've, this would have done very well with some black sprayed edges. This cover and some black edge, like that, like you know, black. That would look good. It's not signed though. Is it supposed to be signed? No, I don't know. I just figured it would. It's not be. signed. Even the next page. I don't know. You want to go through all the pages? Only the first one. The first ten pages. There you go. Keep going. All right, we we're almost there. Just keep going. It'll be signed. Oh look, another king one. We got some crown knees on that. Four dead queens. This one is the one that came with the necklace that I left downstairs, but um. I don't know anything about this. Uh, I think Penguin sent it to me. No, hold on, don't put that in there. Who sent this? Penguin. Oh, it was Penguin. Penguin sent this to me. Let's see what it's all about. 17 year old, Carolee Corrington. All right, just go to the next thing. May you, seem harmless. If but it I'm starts with 17 year old, I don't want to hear about it. She's one of Quadra's most skilled thieves and a liar. They're on the run from a former, former employer. I don't know. I've heard some pretty good stuff. I have high hopes, which could be a bad thing. J Rage of Dragons. This one comes out July. Game of Thrones meets Gladiator. All right. I'm sure a lot of people love that. A debut epic fantasy about a world caught in an internal war and the young man who will become his people's only hope for survival. It doesn't say what it's about. They just told you what it's about. A map. I love maps. It has a map inside, guys. It doesn't tell you what it's about. Ground hits hits the ground with stunning action and danger, and it barely lets up as the pages fly by. 
It's fine, Meek. It's about fantasy stuff. I love fantasy. Ugh. Pack of Blood and Lies. So this was... What was that? This was Did Deacon sigh at it? Book Box's, like, arc that they added, but it doesn't say that it's an arc anywhere. And I don't know when it comes out, if it's already out. And it didn't sound very good. All right, so it's about, like, werewolves, I think, or something. Oh, I remember. Three months shy of her 18th birthday, Nessa's forced to return to Colorado. And even nobody remembers it's her. It's been six years, and the wolves of her all-male pack don't recognize her. She recognizes them. Mm -hmm. Sounds boring. I don't know. I don't know what it is about, like, I, I don't know. Wolves? I don't like werewolves. Me neither. I like vampires. I like vampires, but I feel like vampires have been done so much lately. And by lately, I mean, like, the last 15 years. Mm. That it's like they need to do something fresh with vampires to be they able to do. do it. Like Twilight did something fresh well, and different. But, but that was like when the, the vampire craze hit. Yeah. Well, that again. was like when it, yeah, when it hit again. Yeah. So we need like a good fifteen like Ten, another fifteen, yeah. twenty years off and then we can we can get another Twilight like hit. I like Twilight. People don't like I Twilight. like this I cover why. a lot. Oh, let me guess. Because it's Japanese. Japanese. This was just like the description kind of just gave me like memoirs of a geisha vibe and like it's like one of my favorite books of all time uh the woman it comes out may 28th in the white kimono japan 1957 17 year old naoko nakamura's prearranged marriage to the son of her father's business associate would secure her family status in the traditional japanese community but naoko has fallen for another man an american sailor a gaijin and to marry him would bring great shame upon her family. When it's learned Naoko carries the sailor's child, she's cast out in disgrace and forced to make unimaginable choices with consequences that will ripple across generations. It just seems so cool. I want to read this. And this cover is just, like, stunning. Whenever I hear Gaijin, or Gaijin or whatever, Gaijin. I think of Tokyo Drift, Fast and the Furious. Love it. Is this the title of the book? No. Oh. Lord of Secrets. This one comes out. When does it come out? Tomorrow, July 2019. It doesn't tell me what it's about. Read it, Meek. Heartwarming fantasy novel about it... saving the people you love and destroying the world. Yeah, these pages are like blue. World. Can't read your thumbs. Oh, I'm sorry. Or yourself. There you go. That's what it's about. This, I think they sent this to me from the UK. Whew. I'm pretty sure they did. They like, dude, they are like blue. It's like weird. Yeah, it's a you blue. You can't see it probably. But compare it to this one. Look at that. You can tell the difference now. They definitely have like a purplish blue hue. So yeah, I, I wonder if it's coming out in the US on that date. Yeah, Great Britain. I'm like, I feel like this page is like hurting my eyes. My eyes. My brand. Anyway, um, this I is mean, the next one about wolves. The wolf in the whale. The, this was sent to me. Is this out already? I think this is a final copy. Um, Orbit sent it to me, I think. Nope. Hold up. Don't put that in because it's wrong. This is Red Hook. I love when arcs do like the deckled edges. You can't, you can't paint these though, probably. You can. That'd just be a lot harder. Did you know that back in the day you used to have to cut open your books? No. Like the pages, certain, like they would be stuck together and you used to have to like use a letter opener and cut them open because they didn't have the machine that would like tsh, tsh, cut it. You expect me to believe that? It's true. You, you can buy me? uncut books. You joshing me? No. They're just like rare. There's a very old story, rarely told, of a wolf that runs into the ocean and becomes a whale. Born with the soul of a hunter and the spirit of a wolf, Omat is destined to follow her grandfather's footsteps, invoking the spirits of the land, sea, and sky to protect her people. But the gods have stopped listening, and Omat's family is starving. Alone at the edge of the world, hope is all they have left. Desperate to save them, Omat journeys across the icy wastes, fighting for survival with every step. She meets a Viking warrior and his strange new gods. They set in motion a conflict that could shatter her world or save it. It just sounds neat. I'm sorry, I fell asleep. What? I think it sounds That sounds cool. like that, like, those, like, spiritual, like, boring, 
like make believe magical sciencey not sciencey you like all of it's those it's not sciencey it's 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 just like it doesn't seem like a story about like a like like a real it seems like i have no idea what i'm trying to say but I it don't just either. doesn't intrigue i think it sounds cool and that's why you bought it i didn't buy it that's why you, you bought it i asked for it Ooh. the cerulean this came in a book box that's cool now that doesn't make sense. We are the Cerulean. Our blood is magic. Sarah has always felt that if she didn't that she didn't quite belong among her people, the Cerulean who live in the city above the sky. She's curious about everything, especially the planet that her city is magically tethered to and can't stop questioning her three mothers. Her best friend Leela and even the high priestess. Why does she have three mothers? Um, don't you have three mothers? Sarah has longed for the day when the tether will finally break and the Cerulean can move to a new planet. Uh, I mean, this world sounds interesting. I don't know. At least they didn't tell us how old she is yet. It's blue. Like, the color Cerulean, right? I don't know. Uh, the only reason I know the word Cerulean is Pokemon. <laughs> I'm on the road to Ceru M Meridian City. <laughs> it's not even the same song. <laughs> <laughs> um... This cover is cool, though, but it is a little trippy because she's, like, falling. I didn't even see the girl there. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you freaking serious? Is she wearing, like, a kimono? The reason it doesn't make sense is because she's falling down, but this is clouds in space. Yeah. So it made more sense this way, but now the buildings are upside down. I bought this book because it sounded fun, and it got really good reviews. It's called The Pioneer by something. Bridget Tyler? Yeah. I don't know. I bought this the other day. When Joe steps onto Tau, it should be the happiest moment of her life. After all, she's been training ever since she can remember to be a cadet pilot in the International Space Academy. Nope, agency. She dreamed of the day that she and her family would leave Earth forever and begin life as pioneers on a new planet. But now she can't stop thinking of everything that's gone wrong on their mission. All I know is it's like sci-fi and it got great reviews and it looks like Padme Amidala on the front. No, it looks like Natalie Portman. A little bit. No, not really. Not anymore. I don't see it anymore. I lied. It doesn't look like Natalie Portman at all. A uh, pink? Yeah, I think so. Yep, pink. That's cool. You should make that one hot pink edges. We're just gonna. I'm not doing do all, all of your of books. Them. I'm just letting you know now. So. So I think Penguin sent me this one. Yep, it's called Two Night. I can't read it. Two Night Owl from Dogfish. Uh, uh, I never heard of this book, but it actually sounds like could it could be cute. If you can. Oh, you took it out of my hand to, to put it back in my hand. Thanks, Meek. Avery, you don't know me, but I'm writing to you anyway. This is awkward, but I'm just going to say it. Your dad plus my dad are now a couple. That isn't my business, only it is my business because my dad wants to send me to summer camp that you're going to. It's from someone named Beck. But I think you are confused and have the wrong person. If my papa was in a relationship with your dad, there's a 100% chance I would know about it. We're very close, and it's been just the two of us almost my whole life. So we're best friends, and he tells me everything. P.S. I'm 12, and I live in New York City. Even though you sent your email to the wrong person, I'm curious how old are you and where exactly are you writing from. That seems it, interesting. It does. I mean, it depends on how they do it, but... It's an interesting concept, like two kids writing to each other about like the possibility of their dads being gay together. I don't know why that intrigues me. I like. It, I think it's all it is. It's just a, a letter. Emails. Yeah, yeah, letters back and forth. It seems interesting. I, I like it. I'm gonna probably read it. Oh wait, there's also like the little owl mm -hmm. and the fish. Yeah, do you love me? No, your mommy. You love me more. Yum 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 yum. yum. Yum, now me, now yum, me. me. She doesn't give me Now kids. me. Now me. Thank you. Now we have some more Japanese-inspired uh, books. I'm obsessed with this cover. The Sword of Kaigen. It's super cheesy, Meek. I don't care. How many times do you see a, a character with, with a weapon standing on a hill 
with a, a, a backdrop of either clouds or ocean or the sun or some corny thing like that. I can think of, I can think of author. like five like, Brandon Sanderson books that are like that. But she's this is self published. I have to give it a little bit of a break. You're telling you okay, look, I'm just saying it's an overdone cover. I think cover. it loves all I guarantee awesome. you we can find a couple other covers like this in the pile behind us. I like it. It's not bad. Look, just cuz I'm saying that it's overdone doesn't mean that it's bad. Just saying like you're like I'm obsessed with this cover. Oh my god. It's true. Okay, but I'm just saying, it's the same cover as every other cover in the world. Ow! I literally didn't touch you. You did that on purpose because I, I was saying stuff. You did it on purpose. Look at what she did to my neck. That's what you get. Cat. Anyway, let's talk about this book. I can't read it. You put it up against your body. <sighs> On a mountainside at the edge of the Kaiganese Empire live the most powerful fighters in the world, warriors capable of raising the sea and wielding blades of ice. For centuries, the fighters of the Kusangi Peninsula have held the Empire's enemies at bay, earning their treacherous spit of land the name the Sword of Kaigen. Da 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 da, the Matsuda family, 14 year old Mamoro, has always known his purpose to master his family's fighting techniques and defend his homeland. I, I don't want to know much more, I just want to read it. Seems awesome. It's a girthy book, it's a, it's a thick book. 600 pages. Six, six something. I'm here for it. So, it, I did not ask for this book, but they sent it to me, White Rose by Kip Wilson. I was like, it's a war, a war book. It's a cool cover, though. It is a nice cover. See? Guy standing in the thing with the thing in the backdrop. But anyway, this one's not so bad because it's like artistic and has some... Planes. Granted, that's artistic because it's a drawing. on a rose, which I just realized. Oh, yeah. On a white rose. White rose. The name of the book, guys. Let me see the back. No, see I it? need the okay. inside. You need the inside. Okay. February 18th, 1943. I can Gestapo read numbers. headquarters. The car screeched to a halt. Oh, wait, no. Wait, look. It says higher in Canada again. What? It says higher in Canada. It must be like a... Like they know. They're like, all right, guys. We're going to sell this in the U.S. And let's worry about Canada later. You know, they'll they'll pay for it anyway. Who cares? They're gonna. It's going to be higher there. Let's just, we might as well just tell them, like, hey, look, it's $17.99 here. It's going to be $300 in Canada. But let's not tell them that. Let's just go, it's higher there. <laughs> German university student Sophie Skoll is about to face uh, sentencing for a crime punishable by death, distributing pamphlets that speak out against Hitler's re regime. How did she and her beloved brother end up here? Is it too late to do anything to save her own life? White Rose retells the incredible true story of Sophie, a young activist who put her life on the line as she tried to rally her fellow Germans against the fascist re regime. That sounds awesome, actually. It just sounds stressful because it's but based. It's, I like it's based, based on, on reality, on so it's yeah. like ah, oh, it's so scary to think how this naked. It's book. so scary to think how dark the world actually is. Can you believe there's people that don't believe that happened? What? This is so cool. Are you serious? But there are literally people that don't believe that, like, um, World War Two happened. That um, the Hitler thing, like the Nazis and stuff, happened. Wow. Isn't that crazy? It happened. It's so sad for like everybody that was a part of it. <laughs> I know. This he, is a cover. He likes this. Cover. This is a dope cover. So they sent me a final copy of Voices. The Joan, Joan of Arc story. Joan, and dude, legit, Joan the Arc. I saw this and I was like, yo, that looks like Joan of Arc. That's what I would imagine he Joan of Arc looks like. That. Um, and you were like, that is Joan of Arc. And I was like, see, this is amazing. You literally said like, see. I said, I really? Oh, that's cool. See, so yeah, it's like the last moments of Joan of Arc's life. I know nothing about Joan of Arc. So this would be interesting. I would like to read it. It's short though. So would I want the audiobook? I don't know. It's literally like a few words per page. Oh, wow. Wow. But some of them are it's really It's like half cool. a page. Like, Is it look... written weird? Oh, yeah, isn't it written all them. in like... Not all of them, but some uh, of is them... It read, read a passage out of it. Read it, read it, like, read something out of it. The first page? No, no, no. Like, so pick something in the middle. In the middle but somewhere. But it's gonna ruin it. No, just like right there. My father's house joined the house of Jacques 
so I knew her well. We often spun together and worked together at an ordinary house duties, whether by day or night. She was a good Christian, of good manners, and well brought up. She loved the church and went there often and gave us alms. Okay, so it's not written like Shakespearean yeah, no. or anything like that. Well, that's why I wanted you to read a part of it. It's not written weirdly. It's just formatted weirdly. I like this gold. That's nice. That's gold. That, that is gold. That is not mustard yellow. True. Ooh, what are you doing to the cover? Wrecking it. Oh. You should paint this one black. I'm gonna decide what I want all my book edges to be. <laughs> so this one was sent to me also um, by Blink, The Silence of Between Us. I don't know what it's about. Own Voices novel from Wattpad Sensation, Allison Gervais. Da -da 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 -da. I can't read it. It's like blurry. Yeah, it is. <laughs> all right. Maya Harris's world is turned upside down when she moves and has to leave Pratt School for the Deaf and attend a hearing school for the first time since she lost her hearing. As, it cha as of changing schools, senior year wasn't bad enough. She knows her peers will see her only as a strange new deaf girl who needs a personal interpreter for every class. So it's a contemporary. But... I'm not a fan of contemporary books. I know. Me, just, I, I don't... Just letting you guys know that. I read them sometimes. Like, I read They Both Die at the End recently. Um, and spoilers for my wrap-up. But I really could not get into it in the beginning. And I had a hard time. Because it's been a while since I read a contemporary. And I'm just... I wasn't in the mood. But I ended up liking it. But anywho. I'm just not usually a contemporary reader either. Last book? Last book. And it's the greatest of all. Ba -ba -da, ba -da 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 -da. Wait, that's Zelda. Superman. Does Superman have a song? I yeah. I think so. It goes it? like this. Superman, Superman, does whatever a man can, but super... Man. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Dope! I like it. My favorite cover so far. All day. What? All day Even today, baby. Even better than this one? Yeah, all no, better than that. The, 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 the metal one? Yeah. Yeah, it's better. His power is beyond imagining. Clark Kent. We all know Superman. It's it's an it's an origin story, right? Of Superman. I believe so. Superman, guys. Superman. He must save Smallville. Yeah, Smallville. That's his hometown, baby. Did you watch Smallville, the show? Mm -mm. It's pretty good at the beginning, and then it got terrible. It was like a monster of the week for like the longest time. It was one of those like you know, two thousands, early two thousands show. Was it early two thousands? It was. For def definitely, late. definitely. Late. Thank you guys for uh, sticking in there. If you made it this far, um, we appreciate it. We appreciate you. Hopefully you appreciate what we did today. We tried not to make it so long, but we lost the original footage. So then we accumulated a lot more books and that's why it's now so long. Anyway, I, I, I think that our last one was a similar pile of books. Maybe this has like 10 more books, but I remember we had them lined up and it was like four four tall stacks of books. So therefore, right now we have like five tall stacks of books. So I feel like a lot of the books got put on the shelf and we just don't have, don't don't remember what they were. We'll have to do like a bookshelf tour in the future so you can just see like what books I have because it literally became impossible for me to like know what I already hauled and what I didn't. I'd have to go through all my books and every single video I've ever done and that's just too much, so. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to join that giveaway. I stole her cat. <laughs> the cat's leaving now. Look at that butt. <laughs> that butt though. Um, if you guys stick, if you guys stay tuned this long, um, maybe Patreon is something that you would want to go check out. You do do a lot of book stuff on there. A you have lot. a whole separate book thing that goes on. Two channels. Monthly book thing. Um, and two channels. So we have and Discord. Oh, two book channels. So Got we it. have like. We, we constantly buddy read something and we have like a buddy read spoiler channel and then we have a book talk channel, which, you know, we don't always necessarily talk about books, but we're all good friends. Today. So if you want to join that, just uh, follow the link down below or at the end of the video, there'll be a link to the discord. Um, lowest tier gets you into the discord. So thank you guys once again. See you guys in the next video. Say bye, Meek. Bye, me. Bye, bye, bye. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Do you know what this is? <laughs> Yeah. Nah, 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 nah.